hello there it's green then welcome to another video um yeah it's been so long since i did the last video my life since march has been a mess to be honest and this is the only intro that i used in the i don't know like three videos that i made since then so yeah but i'm back um a lot of things happened and i don't really want to go into them in this video because doesn't really matter but yeah i'm back i hope that i'm back back you know like my life will stop being a mess um i moved i don't have internet and i don't know when i will get internet so that's fun but yeah <laughs> things are okay things are good uh i am excited because where we moved Theoretically, we will have good internet when we get it, which means that I will be able to stream a dream of mine for four years now. I couldn't stream before uh, because we had crappy internet and we couldn't get a better one. Um, now we don't have internet at all, so there's that, but whatever. Um, <laughs> other than that, I haven't played or like been in the Sims because I did play a lot uh, while I was away. In forever and I opened the game and so many things changed that I was in shock first of all all the kids um, I kept looking at Sid I'm like wait what is that so, <laughs> so it was a surprise I don't know what is wrong with my gallery like there's some blurry stuff but yeah I wanted to build and I didn't know what I wanted to build. but I thought you know what I have a Pinterest board and I have like the Pinterest board is separated with different collections are they called collections categories whatever and it's categories like um i don't know modern stuff or whatever it's not like that but you know beats stuff and i have like a seasonal board and i missed on the whole summer but wagon i had some builds like a summary builds that i didn't finish so i was like yeah i don't really feel like summer um, especially since I'm wearing a sweater. So I went to my Pinterest board and I saw this Halloween build that I saved last year that I couldn't do it. So I'm like, do I dare? Do I dare make it? Like, it's not really Halloween. It's just a spooky thing. I guess that one is. Um, I will pin the original creator of the, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a miniature house or whatever. I will pin that so you can see where I got my reference from. But yeah, I decided, you know what, let's start it. And I got really excited. We don't really celebrate Halloween here in Greece. Um, only the last, I don't know, like three years we started. But I love the vibe, you know, the basic vibe, not the spooky vibe. So I thought, let's try it. And I had so much fun because I was able to use the lake tool. I created like a little lake in the middle of the whole thing. And I used the terrain tools to create different levels. I was really into creating different levels. Like this build has four different buildings. This one is the restaurant that I wanted like to have, you know, that spooky vibe. I wanted it to be really elegant and really dark. So I used a lot of black and red and it has the green windows and I was really scared it's gonna look very Christmassy. Thank God it's not. Um, but to be honest, the interiors aren't really, really something mind blowing. Mind you, I haven't built something for months. <laughs> and this is not a category that I was good before. Like, um, So yeah, just cut me off some slack. I really like, however, the exterior. So what I did, because like there's nothing to describe here <laughs> that you would like, oh, there, yeah, that's cool. What I wanted to do is create different levels, different heights for the buildings, because when you have a flat build, it doesn't really pop in the gallery. Okay, yeah, you can create a small town and have it all be in the same level, but they won't be able to appreciate it as much, you know? And I wanted to make sure that it's in every single build was visible in the gallery, like, you know, the little buildings uh, was visible in the gallery thumbnail. I built this specific, like, building on a lot that's residential only because it had a better gallery thumbnail which was really important to me. Um, also, I decided to do different type of lots. So I wanted to fulfill the requirements of those. So as you can see, we already obviously did the restaurant. 
for which I also changed the outfits and the menu. I'm not sure if vampires have like something specific for food other than plasma. I think they drink plasma, right? And they have like the plant or like you can drink from a person. I didn't really play that much with vampires. I'm not a person who likes occult and whatnot, so I don't know. Also, I still haven't played the coded stuff game uh, expansion pack, so there's that. Uh, whatever, moving on. <laughs> what I was saying, sort of, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if like there are food for vampires, but what I did was I chose foods that are red. Uh, <laughs> Because that makes so much sense, you know, to rep represent blood and maybe, I don't know, human parts, oh, that. Um, and I don't know, I just wanted to make the menu spooky. I also chose red wines or red drinks to, you know, represent, I guess, blood. Um, and why not YouTube, please don't demonetize that, Jesus. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then we have the bar, which is very small, like all of the buildings are super small because the lot is only 30 by 30 and I gave way more attention to the exterior than I did the interior and I didn't really thought that before, so yeah. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here, but I really like what I ended up doing. Uh, I ended up doing a long lounge. Uh, in my mind, I had the speakeasy from... Riverdale and I just wanted you know that vibe you know of the more mm, dark and like cozy and red and just kind of underground and kind of not everyone knows it so I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it and as you can see on the lounge one of the requirements is to have a music instrument I tried using the pipe organ before <laughs> like Okay, I've never seen up close a pipe organ and I don't know where they use it. I only know like some Catholic churches have that. Um, so it's not very speakeasy. <laughs> but I really wanted to use it because it's from vampires, right? And I wanted to obviously to have a bar there, but I couldn't feed it. Because obviously you wanted a toilet, right? Uh, so I decided to use like that little glow bar, which I really liked how it ended up turning out. It gave it that whole, you know, more kind of a secret club vibe where in the pff, old days white dudes would gather and drink and listen to music. I'm sure these have a name, but I don't really recall it. Um, and I realized using those booths, I really wanted to use, first of all, the booth from, how's it called, like the Star Wars pack. But I realized, yeah. <laughs> It's one of the few things that I like from this pack. I've never played the gameplay. I never watched Star Wars. So I'm like, let's not force anyone to have this pack, you know, to download this build. So I decided to go with the dine out booths. And then I realized, okay, if someone sets this as a restaurant, they will be able to just go there and eat. And I didn't like that. So I will change those booths to actual um, to seat sofas, which I definitely prefer. And I love all the pictures in the walls, like you can maybe imagine it's the founding members and whatnot. I really like it. I really like how this area turns out. I also obviously lowered the lighting. Um, most of my inspiration came, to be honest, from, in from Pinterest. Because I don't know about you, but I've never been to a vampire bar or a vampire... <laughs> A restaurant. So I was like, how the freak do I make that look okay? So I honestly just searched vampire bar and vampire restaurant and there were surprisingly so many results because what I thought it would end up happening is just find bills from other simmers because that happens a lot. Like I said something weird on Pinterest like, yeah, okay, only you weirdos in the sims make that. Um... So yeah, I was excited, I don't know, there are apparently real places that people go, which I guess for the vibe, maybe. Um, anyways, then we have like this 3x3 three three room and I'm like, what the freak am I supposed to do here? Um, I saw someone, I, her name is Diana, like her actual name is any gig game changer uh which is not a thing anymore game portal i don't know 
<laughs> I'm not caught up with that yet. But yes, it's a very well-known builder in The Sims. Uh, I cannot pronounce her name. Uh, Ankimon Sims, maybe? Uh, and to share a library. So I thought, you know what? I like that idea. It's like a library for, like a spooky library, when I say. So I kind of stole it, if you will. And I decided to make like a tiny bookstore because I wasn't really sure what to do there. Um, so that's it. I really love this little area with the, the two little dolls and the skeleton. I think it's so spooky. I love it. So yeah, that's all. I've already shared the building, the gallery. I shared three versions, a restaurant, a bar and a lounge, so you can choose whichever one you like. And yeah, that is everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you had an amazing day and take care. Bye.